Hello, welcome back to the Total Energy's Energy Talks podcast. Today, in this episode, we'll be exploring something crucial yet often overlooked in our daily lives, roads. Specifically, we're discussing bitumen, an essential material used in building better and more sustainable roads. To help us understand this topic, I'm excited to welcome Dr. Miriam DeRoche, bitumen engineer for sustainable materials at Total Energies. Thanks for having me, Lillian. It's uh, great to be here. Well, if you don't mind, let's jump right into today's topic, bitumen. I have to admit, until recently, I didn't even know what it was. Could you explain to our listeners what it is, how it's used? But if you don't mind, do you imagine talking like you're explaining it to a curious five-year-old? I will try. Um, think of bitumen as a special kind of glue. Okay. This glue is mainly used in roads, and it helps to maintain the cohesion between all the stones to resist weather conditions and vehicle traffic. Okay. So in short, it creates stronger roads exactly. that are safer? Okay. Exactly. And uh, I have here a slice uh, of a real road, in fact. Wow. And uh, if you look at the cross section here, you can see lots of stones with different sizes. And different and colors. Yeah, yeah, it's true. And in between, the black bitumen. Okay. So that gives us a visual representation of what it is, because talking about something, we're often a little far away from it, and we think about a road, but all we see is the top part, the exactly. black top. But I had no idea that there were a bunch of different colors and things put together. Yeah. So the bitumen is the glue for all of those little stones. Yeah. And, okay. And yeah, that's that helps maintaining the structure uh, during the whole life of the of the road. Okay. Perfect answer. Well said and well shown. Thank <laughs> you. Okay. Can we talk about you for a second, if you don't mind? What's your doctorate in, and why did you choose to work with bitumen? My doctorate involved using vegetable oils to create renewable plastics for gym flooring or engine seals, for okay. instance. This allowed me to become familiar with um, what's called green chemistry. So basically, it's a chemistry of the less. So you try to obtain the same materials with the same performances, but with less water, less waste, less energy, fewer materials. So same, but with less. Very interesting. Yeah. And uh, after that, I was contacted by a company that offered me to work uh, on bitumen. Okay. And to be honest with you, I knew nothing about it at the time. Okay, that reassures me. <laughs> I'm not going into this, the only one. But um, I, the, the job involved working on everyday life raw materials, okay. huge volumes at international scale, and a combination of innovation and sustainability. So that's why I immediately accepted. Very, very cool. So... You said earlier you've been working in bitumen for how many years now? I've been working in the field of bitumen for 13 years now, and uh, I'm still learning things every day. What kind of things do you learn, <laughs> if you don't mind sharing? Well, uh, apart from new technologies, of course, yeah. um, I'm learning um, marketing and communication techniques, re legal and regulation topics, and I also go deeper and deeper into life cycle analysis, which is a fascinating but very complex uh, okay. field. So you mentioned innovation briefly. I'd love to dive a bit deeper. How exactly do you innovate in this field that seems so, sorry for my play on words, but concrete? Mm -hmm. And what kind of new products do you create for our clients? Well, our customers want roads that last longer, have a lower impact on the environment and perform better yeah. overall. So to achieve this goal, we've been innovating continuously. Okay. And our products are built on decades of experience, but we need to give uh, to improve them every day. Okay. For instance, we mm, developed a clear binder named Chromatis. Okay. Uh, that improves signage in share areas, maximizing safety for the different users. For so, for instance, you can um, let cars drive on this part of the road, the black one, and keep the, the clear surface for bicycles. So you, you may have had the opportunity uh, to use a bike path or uh, to visit a pedestrian yeah. city center um, with this 
kind of light colored pavements. So the, these uh, products uh, are highly um, technical ones and our customers uh, like it. What would you say would be an advantage of a lighter colored product? Um, well, in, in fact, there are many, okay. uh, but um, the, the last uh, development is around um, fighting against um, urban heat islands. Okay. So uh, uh, because it's not black, uh, it doesn't keep uh, the the energy of the sunlight. Okay. Uh, and, and so you, you the, the temperature uh, are less uh, important uh, during uh, during the night. So that's one interest of that kind of product. That's very cool. So you touched on it very quickly, but who are our customers and what kind of companies typically use Bentman products? We work with both large international groups and okay. SMEs okay. that are strongly um, established in their region. Okay. Overall, our customers recognize our ability to innovate okay. and the quality of our product. Mm -hmm. And I think they also appreciate that we are attentive uh, to their needs. That you're constantly innovating, et cetera. Exactly. So before we started recording, uh, sorry for all of our listeners, but you mentioned quickly the four pillars of Bitman innovation. I think that it would be very interesting for us to share those and how understanding each one of these pillars. Could you walk us through them? Yeah, of course. At Total Energy's Bitumen, innovation focuses on four key areas, reducing carbon footprint, recycling, lowering production temperatures, and extending road life. So you started with carbon footprint reduction. How do you create products that achieve this? We reduce our carbon footprint by incorporating components derived from biomass, okay. for instance, plants or trees, into our product. Wow. So especially this means using fewer uh, fossil resources and more renewable raw materials. That fits back to your thesis when you talked about exactly. green chemistry. Okay, now so I'm there seeing... There is a logic behind There is a logic, the yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. So you said recycling as well. How does that fit into this? One major property of bitumen is its recyclability. Okay. So um, you can, w when the, the road is old, it starts to become gray with lots of yeah. cracks or potholes. Or, and so you can um, scratch it okay. and recover it and use it again in a new road. So that's a kind of magic. Wow. So we have developed a solution that's helps our um, customers to use more of this aged road okay. into new formulation. This solution is based on the analysis of the old road, the okay. one you want to recycle, followed by um, the formulation of a tailor-made binder that perfectly fits uh, with the customer's requirements and specifications. Um, so we reduce the need of new raw materials, and uh, we reuse um, what's called reclaimed asphalt pavement. Okay. So it's a perfect illustration of um, circular economy. That's yeah, that's a word that we hear a lot right yeah. now yeah. Is in, in all areas uh, of innovation. You mentioned earlier something about temperature reduction. We, ba we touched on it quickly when you were showing me the clear asphalt. What is uh, What exactly is it? How do we reduce temperature? In fact, I have to um, explain that uh, asphalt mixes, so the mix between um, rocks, stones, and bitumen, is uh, made usually at 160 to 180 degrees Celsius okay. in uh, the, um, the plants of our customer. So very high temperature, and they have to heat up uh, to these temperatures all the raw materials. So we um, developed uh, Eco2 binders so these are binders that helps to reduce uh, the temperature of the al asphalt mix uh, up to 40 degrees Celsius. Wow. So this warm mix technology lowers greenhouse gas emissions at the asphalt, asphalt plants by up to 30%. This allows better working conditions yeah. for the guy uh, Clearly. On, on site, exactly. And obviously it reduces uh, our customers' energy bills. Oh, that's very impressive. I wouldn't yeah. think that even going back to figuring out where our clients are, are making it, 
fits into the circular economy and and fits into the 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 road temperature. I uh, wouldn't have even thought about that. Let's talk about longevity. Yeah. It's a big question when it comes mm. to roads. It's a hot topic. We see articles about it all the time. We see it in the press. How can we yep. make roads that last longer? What does it mean? And how do we innovate in this area? 50 years ago, Total Energy's researchers developed a unique binder to meet the needs of our customers, notably for high traffic roads. Okay. This was called Styrelp. Okay. So this was a new polymer modified formulation uh, that provided altogether excellent uh, elasticity, improved resistance to aging, reduced thermal susceptibility and high storage stability. So today, these exceptional rheological properties still are still continuously improved uh, to keep making uh, of Styrelf an international um, premium brand and a product of choice for our clients to build sustainable roads. In fact. Thank you so much for these insights, Miriam. That was really interesting. Thank you. It's always a pleasure to talk about bitumen and innovation. And thank you all for listening. Join us again next time on Total Energy's Energy Talks podcast, where we will continue exploring innovation shaping our energy future. Stay tuned. Mm -hmm.